And you're listening to News Talk 1340 WJRW. John Gonzalez, MLive.com, and the Going Gonzo Radio Show weekdays at 1 o'clock. And this show is typically about entertainment news, events about town, and whatever's going on in your world. Yeah, but uh, I think everyone knows I love sports, love to follow college football as well. And uh, the story breaking uh, early this morning, late last night if you're on the West Coast, uh, about the uh, senior captain, co-captain Max Bulla from uh, the uh, Michigan State Spartans. Big bowl game coming up, the Rose Bowl. And uh, we're going to go to Mike Griffin, the uh, beat writer, Spartan beat writer for MLive.com. Uh, Mike, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Have you gotten any sleep uh, lately? Not not much, I'll tell you. It was uh, it was pretty shocking. I just gotten in bed and had actually fallen asleep when I got a text message uh, after midnight Eastern time <clears throat> that uh, Michigan State had waited to put out a release after midnight Eastern uh, about Max Bola being suspended for an undisclosed violation of team rules. Uh, really shocking, uh, John. It's just uh, the last guy in the world you'd expect to. Uh, has any kind of incident sideline before a game of this magnitude? Uh, no question about it. You, you're shocking is probably the the right word. This uh, senior uh, linebacker, who's of course you know been the heart and soul of the defense, the Spartan defense that has led the uh, team to a number four ranking and a 12 and one record. And Coach uh, Mark D'Antonio, of course, has been supporting him. He's also academically, uh, you know, a third team All American, All Big Ten academically. Uh, this guy seems to be, you know, he's, I think he's from Traverse City, right? Correct, Mr. Traverse City. And uh, he seems to just have All-American written all over him. What the heck happened? Do you know any details yet? No, no details have come out. And uh, Coach D'Antonio's release indicated that they are not going to comment any further on this. Now, uh, you know, I, I I know that that works in planting, you know, maybe to, to lay, lay down the law to the media and lean on the media. But uh, for a bowl game of this magnitude on this stage that Michigan State's at, um, I, I've, you know, there's there's a lot of people that want information now. There's a chance, guys, that uh, that there's some privacy laws that could prevent Michigan State uh, from commenting on this. Um, you know, when that usually applies, and and again, I, I don't want to speculate on what this could be. It could be a number of things, but when athletes fail drug tests or when there's uh, any type of academic action involved, uh, that information is protected by privacy laws. And the school is not allowed to put it out. Now, that's not to say that the situation involves one of those two things. It may not have anything to do with uh, a substance test or academics. It may have something, it may be something completely different. Again, way too soon and, and difficult to speculate because of the, uh, because of the type of player Max Bull is. That's what's so surprising when you mentioned, you know, we're talking about he's one of 16 National Football Foundation academic All-Americans. Uh, you know, he's a two-time team captain. He's essentially the face of the program. He's a third-generation player in the Bullock family, which is known as the first family of Michigan State football. So uh, a very shocking and surprising news that Max Bullock will not be allowed to play in the Rose Bowl. Mike uh, Griffin, MLive.com. You've been following the Spartans all year. Uh, this this is this season up until this point had gone on to is, was going to become one of the greatest seasons in the team's history. And for Coach Antonio and uh, Michigan State fans, uh, not only in Michigan but throughout the country, you know this was the, this is the year they're going to the Rose Bowl against a worthy opponent. Oh no question. Uh, this has been a banner season, historic. Uh... Probably the most historic season since 1966. Now, the uh, 88 team, of course, or the 87 team played in the 89 Rose Bowl and won it. And uh, that was a big step. But we're talking about a program that's ranked number four, which is the highest ranking for Michigan State football since the start of the 1967 season. Uh, we're talking about a first-ever BCS Bowl bid. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, if this were one year later, uh, Michigan State would find itself in the fourteen playoff for the national championship. So these are heights that Michigan State uh, has really not reached in the modern era of college football. You've got to go back to the 1960s uh, to find a time when Michigan State football was this prominent and this successful. So uh, it remains to be seen how this will affect the team. Max is, uh, as I said, a two-time team captain, one of only three or four players in history to to be a two-time team captain. He's certainly integral to the defense, uh, pretty much the quarterback of a very sophisticated and complex defense. 
that relies on a lot of calls and adjustments made on the fly from his position. Um, his backup is a fellow by the name of Tyler Ellsworth, who's from Goodrich, Michigan. Tyler is a fifth-year senior and uh, has been working at the position. Um, remains to be seen how well versed he'll be. But if there is a silver lining, it's that Max Bulla is backed up by another fifth-year senior who's been in the program a long time. And uh, so perhaps they won't have to limit their defensive packages as much as they would if we were talking about a younger player without game experience. Like Griffin from MLive.com, who's, uh, of course, uh, on top of this uh, story about Max Bola being suspended for undisclosed reasons, uh, not going to be able to participate with the Spartans at the Rose Bowl. I'm glad you mentioned Kyle, Kyler uh, Ellsworth from Goodrich. We only got about two minutes here, Mike. Um, this this guy, as you said, is a fifth-year senior. But as I understand it, and I read in one of your stories on MLive, that is he going to address the media today? Yeah, you know, and that's kind of the tip-off, guys. It could be a clue. Uh, you know, Michigan State released this media list on uh, December 24th that Tyler Ellsworth would be one of only five people that's available to the media today at Disneyland here in a few hours. Typically, you don't put a backup uh, in a media availability situation like that. The other four players are all starters. So what that suggests is that Michigan State knew that Max Bola would not play in this game on December 24th and waited a day and a half to release the news after midnight. Now, I don't know what conclusions you want to draw from that, but I would say that uh, maybe they didn't want to ruin the Christmases of Spartan fans. Mike, uh, well, we appreciate you joining us from uh, from California. Uh, good luck to you. I know you're a very busy guy, so we really appreciate you uh, calling us and uh, filling us in on what's going on out there. Good luck to you. It's going to be a very busy week, and uh, we'll keep going to MLive.com to find out all your reports. Take care, man. Thanks, guys. All right, that is uh, Mike Griffin from MLive.com, who uh, was kind enough, as I just said, to uh, to join us on the show here. What a crazy story, huh, Judy? I mean, just I know you're not a huge football fan, but no, but I I like state, and so I'm. This is really, really, really shocking. I'm not gonna lie, and I. Uh... My brother's going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of Spartan fans. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the, the, the stories, and, and, he, and also, Mike just mentioned there that the MSU obviously knew about this. Yep. It's going to be interesting to find out what the infraction was because mm-hmm. it'll come out. Oh, eventually, yeah. Uh, it'll come out. And it'll also be interesting to find out when they found out and what tech or what, what route they went. Um, it's going to be, this story will just uh, continue as the weeks go on, of course, uh, we'll be right up to the Rose Bowl on uh, January 1. All right, we're going to take a quick little break here. We'll have uh, local news. Also, ABC News at the bottom of the hour. And then Allie Vincent, boy, if you want to know, if you want to you know, get yourself together and in shape for the new year, Allie has a lot of great stories and great ways to inspire you in the new season. All right, coming up here on News Talk 1340, WGRW.